It's nine minutes past four. Good evening, I'm Keith Gillen. There's doubts over the future of refurbishment and extension works at Athlone Garda Station. It's emerged the Office of Public Works has been unable to confirm any start date for the project, which includes CCTV. The project was supposed to begin this year. Liam Dumpleton reports. The Athlone CCTV project has been long awaited, and with this development it appears that the wait will become even longer. Garthi at the station say they'd been waiting for phase one of the plan to provide a monitoring room to bring the cameras into operation. The cameras and poles are already in place and have been so for a number of months. It's been a nine-year wait for CCTV in Athlone and now its future is up in the air with no progress in sight. There's been numerous ministers for justice with this item on their desk and it's a long wait since 2000. That wait, it seems, is set to go on. The head of the Labour Relations Commission says he's not optimistic that an agreement can be reached in the ongoing dispute over electricians' pay. Talks have resumed between electri- electrical contractors and the TWU in a bid to avert an all-out strike next week. 10,000 electricians across the country are set to down tools on Monday in a row over pay and conditions. The TWU wants a wage hike of 11%, while employers are calling for a pay cut of 10%. LRC Chief Executive Kieran Mulvey says there's been no leeway so far. Nothing has indica- uh, indicated to me in the meantime in our contacts with the parties that uh, that position is narrowed in any sense. So I think generally at the moment uh, one can only hope that we can get a settlement but I'm not too optimistic. The country's chief medical officer has confirmed the entire population will be offered a free swine flu vaccination. A major plan is being executed to prepare for the worst effects of a global pandemic. The vaccines will cost almost 90 million euro. Adam Ledwith reports. Up to 7.7 million swine flu vaccines will be available here by the autumn. The Department of Health has confirmed the jabs will be administered by GPs or through a network of over 100 swine flu clinics. The vaccinations will be offered to the entire population, but at-risk groups will be protected first. Yesterday, 12 new cases of the H1N1 human swine flu were confirmed here, with a further five confirmed in the north. There have been over 100 cases so far north and south. There are fears the number of patients could multiply rapidly in the autumn without the vaccines as the World Health Organization says the virus is now out of control and cannot be contained. Drugs worth more than a quarter of a million euro have been seized in Kildare. Cannabis herb worth around €180,000 was recovered when a car was stopped on the Nace Road near Rathcool last night. A man in his late 30s was arrested at the scene and is being detained at Clondalk and Garda Station. In a follow-up search in County Loud, further cannabis herb with an estimated street value of €72,000 was seized in Drogheda. And finally, Leash is celebrating the 4th of July today. The cast and crew of Vincent, questioning the method, are hosting an Independence Day party. The project is a character study of Vincent van Gogh by former Fair City actor Stuart Dunn and represents the last 70 days of van Gogh's life using an intensive style of method acting. The project is filming in for over 70 days at various locations throughout Leash. The event gets underway at 25 Church Street in Port Leash, across from the Dunamays Arts Centre. John Karabetsos is director of the project. Well, tonight is the 4th of July, and uh, 4th of July celebrates revolution. And what we're doing with the Stuart Dunn method is somewhat revolutionary in itself. It sort of uh, um, democratizes the art form of filmmaking. And when you break down hierarchy, that's when you have revolution. And that's what we're doing in Port Leash. So tonight is a party to celebrate the revolution. It's 13 minutes past four. Midlands weather on Midlands 103. Sunshine and scattered showers, some heavy with maximum temperatures of 19 to 21 degrees. Tonight will be dry and mostly clear with lowest temperatures of 10 to 12 degrees. Giving you the chance to win 50,000 euro cash, this is Midlands 103. The songs that make you smile on the all-day jukebox. Midlands 103.